everyone, so we're back in the 5 125 hour John Deere again, doing another informational video on some uh, nice features that this tractor has to offer. And today I'm going to show you uh, something called the work monitor, which is a really cool feature that's part of this uh, primary display unit here. What the work monitor does is it allows you to go into the tractor and set some basic parameters, such as like an implement width and things like that, and it allows you to keep track of some very cool data. So, navigate to the work monitor here. I'm going to show you some things that it covers, and then you have two counters, just like you have a, a trip A and a trip B in your car. Uh, this counter, if I click on this, will show you some really interesting data. So, this is something, some time I've logged in this tractor doing some different work, but it, it'll, it reads your time worked in hours, your area worked in acres, your area per hour average, acres per hour, your fuel use total, your fuel per hour use, and your fuel per acre usage, as well as your working speed, distance traveled, and then you can reset the counter. And what's nice, this is a really great feature if you're a contractor or somebody who's doing work on a regular basis, or if you just like to keep track of some of the work you're doing, uh, this tractor can do that for you. So what I want to show you is how to set that up. If you navigate to the uh, section under implement with, you would go in and preset your implement with under work monitor. So I'm going to go to implement with, select that. Now I have it set for a seven and a half foot disc mower. Now I don't have the mower on the tractor right now, but I can demonstrate this anyway for you. So I have it set for seven and a half feet. That's the implement width. And I go back and I would set my recording trigger. Now I have the recording trigger set as my rear PTO switch. So when I activate the rear PTO switch, this work monitor begins recording all that data and when you turn the switch off it stops recording. Now you can set other ones, you can set your rear hitch, you can set an automatic or you can set a manual trigger. I really haven't figured out how to set the automatic or manual trigger yet and there's really not much information in the book so I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit more but right now I've been running on the rear PTO switch so when I flip that switch it begins recording and I can demonstrate that to you here. So if I go to back to my uh, run page here. So I'll, I'll show you how you know that the system is recording. If you look on the dash right here on this heads up display, when I flip the rear PTO switch on, you'll get a little red dot here just like you did on an old school camcorder. And that tells you that the work monitor is then recording all the information and data as you're operating the tractor. So if I show you that here, if I go ahead and flip my PTO switch on, turn my PTO on, you'll now notice that I have a little red dot here. That little red dot indicates that the tractor's work monitor is now monitoring all the information coming into the tractor, like your fuel usage and area covered and things like that, and it calculates that data and records it for you. So it's a really nice little feature. I've been playing with it quite a bit. It allows you to really pull some data as you're operating and figure out uh, some of the things like uh, your acreage and how many fuel, how many gallons of fuel you're using per hour and things like that. It makes it really nice if you're trying to, like I said, do any contract work or if you're trying to maybe even calculate how much food you might need to purchase in the future or what kind of uh, time allotted you need for certain jobs uh, that monitor really helps you with that so yet another really cool feature here in this John Deere 5R tractor that I wanted to demonstrate to you hope this video is uh, helpful and like I said if you have any questions or comments please post those in below the video in the section for comments and I'll try to get back to you thanks and have a great day